Oh boy, I have a very special episode right here of Dude, I Love or Hate My New Ride. And that is because behind me is a brand new Ford Ranger. But it's not just any Ranger, it has a few modifications, a suspension lift, and a very cool tailgate storage bike carrier system. And in this video, I'm gonna take it for a drive and learn everything about it with the owner, Andrew. Andrew, thanks for coming by. No problem, thanks for having me. So tell me all about this truck. You just purchased it very recently, yeah, right? about a month and a half ago. Okay. Um, I've been a Toyota guy uh, my whole life. I've had multiple Toyotas. I had a third gen uh, Tacoma. Yeah. It was a great vehicle, but I had some transmission issues, engine issues where it'd rev up to 5,000 RPM for no reason, it'd get stuck there. And it just wasn't something I was very happy with. It wasn't very smooth, okay. especially uh, for you know what you're paying for the Tacomas these days. Okay. So I ended up trading that in for a first-gen Tundra. Love that. Okay. Um, but I just ran into some issues with it. It was going to be an expensive repair, and they were doing some interviewer rebates on the Ranger where they dropped the price dramatically. So I hopped on it and been pretty happy so far. Uh, I got about uh, 1,800 miles on it so far. So still a baby. <laughs> but you've been using it I've already. I've been using it. Yep, I've been All right. doing the mods already. So let's walk around it. Okay. So let's first talk about a little bit about the engine. Yep. Uh, let's pop the hood. Okay. Um, and then we get into the meat of it, the suspension. Sounds good. So under here, obviously, there's just one engine option yep, in the Ranger, that's right? It, that's all. And it's a 2.3 liter. Um, do you have any modifications here? Not yet. I know uh, Ford Performance is supposedly coming out with a tune this year, and that's something you know I may be interested in. But so far, I've been really happy with the engine transmission. I mean, for a four-cylinder, I was a little hesitant, but once I did the test drive, I mean, this thing has power for days. It's probably one of the fastest mid-sized trucks out there. Yeah, so 270 horsepower, yep. 310 pound-feet of torque. Yep. And how's the transmission pairing, the 10-speed here? It's been super smooth. I've had a okay. little issue in cold mornings on cold startup where it's a little rough shifting, but once it warms up, uh, it's been smooth. Okay, so the powertrain is basically stuck and it's a four-wheel drive, yep, right? four-wheel drive. All right, so tell me what you've done with the suspension. So this is an Icon uh, Stage 1 kit. Uh, they've been uh, really good to me. I've had them in the past. Uh, it's a true two and a half uh, inch uh, coilover, so it's adjustable up to three inches. Uh, you can get it to wherever you want, which is really nice. And the great thing about it is the faster you go, the smoother it gets, Okay. which I really like about it. Yeah, I'm really curious. I've never tested an Nikon suspension yep. like this, so I want to take it on a drive and see how it handles. It is a little stiffer on the road compared to Fox or King or something like that, but um, I find it's a little smoother and uh, the faster you get off-road. So like the washboard, yep. it handles pretty well? Yep, very well. Okay. Well, I'm noticing First of all, there's not much lean. No. So I like that. Yep. Yeah. So it's not like wallowy. It's not the. And it's that's, not soft. Yeah, the yeah. stock suspension is terrible on these vehicles, especially compared to the the Toyota Tacoma. Um, that stock suspension I feel is a little bit better uh, than this, but they're all pretty terrible compared to the aftermarket stuff. Well, the aftermarket is also kind of pricey. How much was this system? Uh, like this on? system I got for about fourteen hundred. Okay. Um, from Rogue Off Road. You know what? I don't. I feel it's too stiff. I mean, I can feel kind of the expansion yeah. joints, yep. but um, it's not jarring. No, no. Yeah. All right, tell me about the tires. So tires, uh, I decided to upgrade to a 32 inch, uh, the tall skinny. Uh, so this is a 255, a 75, okay. a 17 inch. Um, Goodyear uh, Duratrac, uh, which are pretty good. I've been pretty happy with them. The sidewall is a little weak on them, okay. but other than that, uh, the traction's been great. So now the appearance of the truck, well, I really like, uh, is this a Ford Ranger Raptor this grill? This is a Raptor grill with uh, some Raptor lights. Um, I actually don't mind the uh, Ford stock grill, but I think this takes it to the next level. It just looks a lot cleaner, a little meaner, yeah. and I like it a lot better. And I like the little uh, amber lights yep, too. Yep, it adds yes. to it, definitely. So you also modified the exhaust a little bit? I did. Um, I mean, it's not much of a, a modification, but one thing, you know, when you're off-roading, the exhaust is one thing that always gets torn up because it's sticking out. Yeah. Um, so I like to cut it and make it kind of low profile for, so that's not something that's going to get snagged by the rocks or something on the trail. So you didn't remove a muffler or anything? No, you just, you just, just the, cut the it end a little of it. bit. Yeah, that's something okay. I pretty much do to all my vehicles for okay. off-roading. 
Do you think you'll ever put like uh, maybe rock rails or some side protection? So I do have those on order. Don't tell the wife, but <laughs> those all okay. are on order. Um, but she, she won't watch she, this. Yeah, she won't watch no. this at all. So nice thing about with the skinnies, uh, tall tire is that it is the same width as a stock tire. Okay. So you're not losing the miles per gallon as much and losing that little bit of horsepower uh -huh. also. Still plenty of power. These turbocharged yeah, engines oh, have a lot of great, power. It's a great engine. I've been super impressed with it, especially at elevation. Albuquerque is over 5,000 feet. So, yeah. you know, you're not feeling any of those effects. Now, what truck uh, was this? Was this a uh, Lariat uh, uh, This XLT? is the XLT uh, okay. Sport. So the Sport model just comes with kind of the different uh, trim colors with the okay. black and the silver and the nicer upgraded wheels. Um, it's not something I was super interested in, but you know, the wheels actually are pretty decent. I just wish the offset was a little better so they stick out a little farther. Okay. But other than that, I love the looks of the wheels. All right, so what about the interior? Any big uh, changes there? Nothing interior-wise. Okay. Uh, it's pretty much all stock right now. Okay. Nothing too crazy. How do you like the seats? Uh, that's one thing I've really liked over the uh, Tacoma, because the Tacoma, your feet are kind of laying out a uh, little more. Sure. And it's something you get used to, you know, you don't mind it after a while, yeah. but after saving something that's a little higher up, you just, it's just so much more comfortable. So one of the things Ford did that I think is pretty cheap is uh, this little aftermarket part here didn't come with a truck. And if this wasn't here, you could see actually through uh, into the steering column there. And it just kind of finishing touch that looks like it's kind of missing a piece. Uh, I was a little disappointed in, but thankfully someone in the forms made this little piece to kind of give it more of a finished look, which I really like. All right, well, tell me what's happening in the back here. So um, on the Tundra, I had a foldable uh, cover which I really liked, but it kind of blocked your view once you folded it up. Like a three piece, you a mean? A three piece, okay. uh, which I liked, but it was just kind of a pain because you'd have to, you block your view, then you have to go get inside to tie it to both ends. Okay. So I wanted something a little easier you could just do by yourself. And this is the Truxedo Pro X15. All right, well, let's see how it works. Uh, so it's got a little latch here. And it just folds up and you can do it by yourself, which is great. And then it just has these little things that you latch over and you're all set, done. That's pretty easy. It's pretty yeah. good. I've, I've been pretty happy with it so far. You do get a little water leakage, but nothing, you know, nothing crazy that's going to wet your gear or anything like that. One thing with the mid-size trucks that I've always disliked is that you never have space. The Tacoma did a pretty, has done a pretty good job of, uh, you know, creating little cubby holes sure, and stuff like sure. that. But the Ranger is really limited. So I got this. This is a Ford uh, performance part that you can actually order from them. And it just, it's nice because it swings out and then you got plenty of storage to carry some off-road tools and whatever you want, which is really nice. Okay, and you can put them on both sides, Both right? sides, yep. If you want it to. Yep, exactly. Okay. And it's lockable, waterproof, and you're all set. Locks in here pretty yep. nicely, okay. Uh, do you have a little strut here? So I do have a strut here. This That doesn't come with the Ranger at all. Okay. Um, it's like a $40 performance part, but it just adds a little nice, uh, so it's not falling down. The tailgate's super light. And, but with that, it's just nice to have a little extra something. That's really neat. And you already had a deadline. Now, um, you, you came here from Albuquerque, right? Yep. How is, how's the fuel efficiency been so far? I know the engine is not yeah. fully broken in it's, yet. It's, I mean, I haven't, you know, it says 20 to 24, but it's nowhere near that. Okay. And obviously, you know, I got the taller tires, but uh, I've been probably around 15, 16 miles per gallon. Just on the trip meter. Just on the trip meter, okay. which I'm not one to really track it too well. Okay. Um, I just follow whatever the vehicle says, and I know those are off a little bit usually, so. Okay. Do, have you towed anything yet? I have not towed anything, no. Okay. I'm not, I don't tow too often. Usually I do, you know, just kind of home projects type stuff and bikes and, and camping kind of trips. Off-roading off trips. Off-roading, right? of right, course. Right. Yeah. Very nice. Um, how was your dealership experience? Uh, how was that process? Pretty good. Uh, this is Power Ford in Albuquerque. Uh, they treated me pretty good, very low key. And like I said, at the end of the year, I think they had up to $8,000 off in rebates. Okay. Uh, so I got a pretty good deal, fairly happy with it. And uh, they've been great so far. What was the price? And do, do you want to share that? Yeah, yeah. What was the yeah, uh, uh, final I price? I think a uh, sticker was a little, it was around 38. Okay. And I got it for 30,300. That's not a bad deal no, no, for a four wheel no. drive truck. Yeah, no, I can't complain. Uh, okay. That's one thing I really liked about Ford is that, you know, they're priced a little high, I thought, but uh, with the Tacoma, but with those but the rebates, deals. yeah, okay. it's, it just made it a no brainer. All right. Uh, you said you brought a tailgate bike system. Yeah, this is a, kind of a 
something different that no one's ever done before okay. and I really wanted to share it because I know a lot of truck people are mountain bikers. Okay. And I think this is a really awesome system that a lot of people will like. Well, let's demo it. All right, cool. Let's okay. do it. Cool bike, by the way. Yeah, this is a, one of my babies. All right, Andrew, so what do we have here? So this is the latchet rack. And the thing I love about this is it's so easy to put on and it's lockable. Okay. So those are big keys for me. It's something that's easy and ready to go. So all you do is you latch it on here. And are these extra kind of uh, brackets or no, those, these? those are those are stock with the vehicle and this fits any truck too. It's not just the Ranger, it's any truck. And the nice thing is you just fold this out here and it locks in place. And now when you lock your truck, the rack is actually locked to the vehicle, which is really nice. So it adds a little bit of security okay. and no one's able to steal your uh, rack. So I'm gonna grab the bike here and you can just toss it in and you can latch it down. You can fit up to six bikes on here, latch it down here and here, which is great. And it doesn't move. But the big thing I like about it too is, uh, you know, if you're running into the store or, you know, you got somewhere to go, you can actually lock it, uh, the bike, so no one can steal that. So you run it through your bike, and it locks right into here, and now no one can take your uh, bike. Is that with a key or something? Yeah, it's with a key, yep. So the lock is under here, and you just lock it there. Now you got a secure bike, and you can run into the store really quick if you need to. It's probably uh, my fa uh, favorite uh, bike rack system, just because it's so easy and lockable. And it's got pockets in here too, which is yeah. great. Little storage pockets, huh? Storage pockets, yeah. yeah. You can throw in, you know, gloves, uh, shoes, whatever. Yeah. Anything extra? Yep. That's pretty neat. So if you had to do this again, would you do this again? Would you get a Ford Ranger? Uh, so far, the, and that's the big thing with Ford. Coming from a Toyota, the joke is that, like how reliable are Fords, right? Okay. That's the big joke on Fords. Uh, but so far, I've been super happy. It's been way better than the third gen uh, Tacoma. So is it fair to say you love your ride? So far, I love it. Very, <laughs> like long term, we'll see well, the Ford. So call me in about a year, okay? All right, then we'll do a follow up. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for coming out hey, all this way. I appreciate it. Thank you. And sharing your truck. Yeah, and no it's, problem. Uh, it's really cool. And guys, of course, if you want to see more about this truck or all the other trucks that we feature here on the channel, go back to tfltruck.com. <laughs> <laughs>